Hi everyone, it's Melissa with Jacksonville Business Connections. Excited to be with you guys tonight. And I wanted to introduce Victoria McCartney. She's the owner of Free Spirit Designs located in Ponte Vedra area. And I just have to say that how this all happened is I was just going and kind of just viewing Facebook, strolling along and I came across Victoria's video and she was, um, kind of sharing um, one of her products in her membership. And I was just drawn in. I thought the product was cool. I thought all of the ideas she gave that um, you can do with her different designs. And I just reached out and said, we would love to have you on our live virtual interviews. And um, so that's how we got here tonight. Hi, Victoria, thanks for joining us. So thanks for having me. I'm delighted to be here. So just before we have you jump in and start showing us um, the products and different things that are in your membership, uh, how did you get started and what gave you this idea? Well, Free Spirit Designs was birthed, I guess, six years ago now. Um, I've done interior design for quite a while, probably 15, 20 years, I don't even know now. Um, but it was birthed actually out of tragedy in my life of divorce. It was one of those moments oh. of how now shall I live? So I was sitting in my chair one morning reading and I looked over at my peacock painting and I was like, that's my logo. Like, <laughs> so even though I had done interior design for many years, even before divorce, it was one of those moments of like, oh, I have to be like for real now. I need to have a website and a logo and all those things. And so a lot of beauty has come from brokenness in my life and free spirit designs is one of those things and now um, god has actually brought me an amazing man that i'm marrying in i don't know soon <laughs> oh <laughs> congratulations yes. thank you and he's um the carpenter on my team as well as my father and so we do lots of work in Ponte Vedra, jacksonville st augustine and so that is the short version of how free spirit designs was birthed Awesome. I love that. Thank you. Well, I would love to just jump right in and have you start showing us the how it all works, your membership, the products. Okay. So what Melissa is referring to is my new in-home high-end design subscription boxes. And the way those were also birthed is out of more tragedy of short version. My ex has been not paying child support and alimony. And so how, again, how now shall I live? And I refuse to be a victim of those things, but it's real and it's um, hurtful. And it's like, okay, I, what can be beautiful out of this? I need this income, but it was so much more than that, Melissa, for me. It was, how can I give back also with this in-home design? So there's so many like layers to it for me. Um, one of the things I'm really excited about is that I'm taking a portion of each of the boxes that I sell. And because of divorce, I know that it affects a lot of people and mm -hmm. I want to be able to give back. So I'm taking a portion of every single box that I sell and I'm putting it into a pot over here. And when we have enough money, I am going to bless someone. I have no idea who, whether it's a single father, a single mother who has walked through divorce, is walking through divorce, is in that brokenness feeling like there is no hope. And I want to show them there is hope. And mm -hmm. when you're in divorce, most of your money goes to attorneys. <laughs> so you're definitely not thinking about making your home more beautiful, but you also might have a trigger of like, you know, there goes the sofa with your ex-spouse. And so maybe it's a living room that I'm going to make over. Maybe it's a bedroom. Well, it's not going to cost them a dime because I'm going to use portions, like I said, of the box that we sell. And last week I got to deposit, or was it this week? I have no idea. $800 so far towards that project. Wow. And so, yay. Yeah, I'm so delighted over that. And it's not enough to do a complete room makeover, but it's a start. And I'm thrilled about that because I want to understand like, while the home subscription box is a blessing to you, you know, and I want you to love your home and I want to inspire you in your home. That is the root of why I'm doing this. But you're also, it's like bigger than us too, you know, like you're giving back to somebody else. So I just can't wait to see who that is this year um, in hopes that we continue to sell boxes and subscriptions. That's really the big thing that I want to build relationships with people through this, through this subscription box. I don't want you to just you know, it's not a product to just buy it. 
Scott, my fiance is like, you're not a Girl Scout selling cookies. Like, I'm not trying to get rid of boxes. I want to grow with you and I want to commingle your items. Like I already have the May bundle. The spring bundle is ready and purchased. And there are items in that box that are gonna go with this box. And anyway, so do you wanna see what's in the box? Yes? <laughs> I'm gonna show you. <laughs> reveal, <gonna> reveal. <laughs> so the box is 24 inches, it's pretty big. And it's full of beautiful things. And this is one thing that you're getting in your box that's wrapped lovely, like a hoagie. I grew up in Jersey. This is not a sandwich. Um, there, there will be no, no food in your box ever. <laughs> but this lovely little guy is this tray. So let me grab it real quick. Um, it's funny because I actually didn't um, keep the tray as it comes. I just realized I didn't actually keep one to show you like the actual tray, how it comes. So you're going to get this beautiful tray with all of these different votive holders. Now, when you open this, everything has a candle in it already because I want also for you to feel like you can use it right away. So maybe you put it on your coffee table or you put it on your bathtub and light the candles, but I'm gonna show you four different ways that you can use this very one item. That's another thing with subscription, Melissa, I make a private video um, for anyone who subscribes or purchases and I'm gonna style your items for you because I'm a professional designer. Like I wanna give you outside of the box ideas. It's not just, oh, here's a beautiful votive tray and it is and it's lovely to use it that way, but why not put flowers in it? You could use it as a hostess gift for someone inviting you to dinner. You could bring this to a friend that's not doing well. You can enjoy it for yourself. So this is one way you can use the tray and one of my favorite ways is like this in the bathroom. You could put your makeup brushes and Q-tips, cotton swabs, your hair accessories, nail stuff. Again, think outside the box. It's so fun to use it in this way also. And I'm going to show you one way you can use it in the office, actually. Take it to I your I mean, office. how did people choose? I want to know how people choose which one because they're all, I love all the ideas. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Well, that's the fun of it. You can switch it out. Like why not change it every month, right? Like I think it's important in our home to feel fresh and inspired all the time. I don't know about you, but sometimes you can just feel like, I don't know, like just kind of blah. Well, having just little things like this to change up or maybe it can inspire you to clean your desk off, right? It, or organize something. Um, so this is a way you can use it in the office. Pens, pencils, your rubber bands, thumbtacks, paper clips, your ruler fits right on the tray, your post-it notes. So this is a lovely, you know, so you don't have to have it in your home. You can take it to the office, but I know so many people right now are working from home in their office. So another really pretty way that you can use it. And I'm going to show you another way. Super cute, super fun idea is to use it as little plant holders. So again, it doesn't have to be a votive holder. Plant these lovely succulents and Robin, actually my friend and administrator for Free Spirit Designs, she created this. So we have lots of creatives on our team. So she gets credit I for I love this. that. Yeah. So she's growing these. So you can also buy those from her. <laughs> so that is your wood mango tray. And I'm going to show so you So someone. Yes. Oh, I was just going to ask if someone wanted to gift something like this but they didn't want the subscription, can they do a one time and gift it? Absolutely, and if you go on my website, um, there there's two separate places. So there's the first edition bundle, which is what I'm showing you tonight. And then there's a place where you can subscribe for future bundles. And I also don't want okay. it to be difficult for people. Like, you know, you're not signing a contract with me. If you just want to experience and try it out and do the May bundle, you can do that. You can cancel your subscription at any time with no hassle. Like basically you're committing to three months, Melissa. So you can spread out the payment through three months or you can pay okay. a one-time um, quarterly subscription, not fee, but the purchase of the box. And the box retails over $300. So wow. that's something that I love as a designer, even with my in-home design clients. I love purchasing beautiful high-end things. Quality is really important to me. So you will know that this is not a cheap box. Like this is high quality, beautiful things that you're gonna want to display or that you're gonna want to gift to someone. 
I mean, for someone who's older that may say, you know what, I don't need anything. Do any of us really need anything, right? So p think of it like a personal shopper for the whole year. You always have a great gift to give to someone. Um, that's another way I like to think of it. Of course, I want you to love everything in it. But if you don't, like maybe this votive tray doesn't suit you any of those five ways, but you know of a friend that, oh, she would love this, right? What a great gift for her. So yes. I know somebody that bought the box actually then purchased it for another friend. And recently I just um, wrote a handwritten note to a single mom who her son's in the hospital. She just finished having COVID. Oh. Yeah. And someone saw um, a live unboxing of someone that purchased the bundle. And when they saw theirs, they were like, so-and-so needs this. So several women chipped in together and bought this as a gift for a friend. So I know that was a very long answer to your question. <laughs> yes, you can purchase the box all by itself. So awesome. Um, okay, we're going to move on to another item. And so this is also important to me, even though I make you a video and, and explain different ways you can use it, I also give you a little tag, not on every item, but several of the items, at least half of them in your box will have a tag that gives you ideas from my brain of how you can use it. So these mango wood hand painted trays, it says, wow. let me catch your um, mail, phone, keys, jewelry, and hair ties, or use me to serve your favorite foods. So right there, I already gave you ways you can use it, but then I also will do a video like this to kind of style it for you, because sometimes it's just better to see it. So what can we do with these lovely trays? I'm gonna show you several different ways. So you can put it in your bathroom on your sink. Encourage you to use moisturizer on your face. <laughs> if you're like me, I don't wash my face at the end of the day. But maybe the free tray will help you. So, or catch your, you know, when I take my hands off <laughs> like I just, I'm kind of a hot mess in my, especially in my bathroom. So I love the trays for that to kind of organize the mess. So this is one way that you can use it. Just the smaller tray in your bathroom. My favorite way that I've used the smaller tray, I'm going to show you in just a minute, but that's one idea. And maybe you have a guest bedroom or maybe you just want yourself to feel special next to your bedside. Put your water fresh flowers. Like I think we all need fresh flowers in our life all the time. So I have like little sleep spray. I literally spray this on my pillow every night because it smells amazing. <laughs> it's lavender. So all of this sits on the bedside. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be for a guest room. Make yourself feel special. Like that's another thing with this stuff. I try to find unique things, something you're not going to find. I love Target, so don't hear my heart wrong, but you're not going to find it at Target. You're not going to find it at Home Goods. They're unique, right. beautiful things. And so that's another um, thing that I wanted to do with this box. So you could do it this way. Another way in your bathroom. Love this idea. I have napkins in my bathroom, especially with all the COVID stuff. Not everyone feels comfortable using your hand towel. So right. use the larger tray in your bathroom and put the napkins, your soap, some hand cream, again, fresh flowers, make everything amazing and beautiful. And this, if you notice, actually on this tray and this one, notice that I took the votives from the mango tray. So I'm kind of separating two and recycling the items from that. Okay. That's beautiful. Right. Thank you so much. We're going to move on to one of my favorites where the wine and cheese are. Um, and yes, I'm okay. already had a glass of wine. <laughs> so, this is the largest Hey, it's tray. Friday night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, all that already gone. Um, okay, so these little guys, the arrows, super fun. You can use these again it says for a beautiful display use me to serve your favorite yummy hors d'oeuvres and desserts or you could also use it it's very sharp so you need to be careful of course but i actually use it in the book that i read every morning as a bookmark no joke i mean it helps me to like keep track <laughs> and something really gross but if you sit in your bed you could pick your nails if you need to at the end of the day <laughs> It like works. Okay? That's hilarious. So stupid. Yeah, I know. It's silly, but it works. And actually someone, so something really fun too about being a subscriber or purchasing the first bundle, you can be in a, an exclusive Facebook group called Living Beyond Ordinary. And in that group, I've been so encouraged by the women who have purchased and they give all kinds of unique ways. The beauty of more than one brain 
is that someone, you know, everybody has different ideas. So someone in our group used these on corn on the cob. How clever is that? Like she's stuck oh. in the <laughs> so cute. So there's lots of ways, even with your little gold that arrows that in your box to use. So, and again, here we use arrows. I like the bookmark open. idea. Good, I'm so glad. I enjoy it every day. And you could also <laughs> put it in your office, open envelopes, your mail. I did have it in one of the glass jars for that as well. We are moving on to this bag is one of my favorite items in the box. And I'm gonna show you what it is. So I'm not gonna unpackage this one because this is for someone special. Whoever buys the box with this. <laughs> Use me daily to stir <laughs> your favorite drink or simply disp display my beauty in your kitchen. And you're gonna see how beautiful this little package is. So one of, so here again, is an example of using your tray, a votive, and this is what's inside that bag. These beautiful spoons, the copper spoons. I fell in love with these and they were just so unique. I love coffee or you maybe love a mixed drink at the end of the day, in the middle of your day, whatever, or tea, but you're gonna get <laughs> copper spoons that are in this lovely bag. And again, like if someone's not a coffee, tea, or drinker period, and they don't want these, well, what a beautiful and unique hostess gift for someone. So, mm -hmm. love it. And- Yes, I, I love mine. it. Thank you. I use mine every single day. I literally stir my coffee and I put it on my tray every day. I do not have the candle lit. That's just for tonight. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I wanted to show you like ways you can separate your items and make it beautiful and functional for you. It is. I love that. So here's the vase. This can be used as a candle holder, of course. I love mercury glass. I think it's beautiful. And because I don't buy cheap things, you can actually make this not just a candle holder it just blew out sorry about that <laughs> but you could fill it with water and make it a beautiful vase now a lot of times with mercury glass when you fill anything that has mercury glass in it with water it's going to take that film which makes it beautiful off it doesn't do that with this because this again it's a quality piece so you can fill this with water all day long and it's still going to be beautiful like this you could also take it to your office, put your pens and pencils, put it next to your sink. If you want something else beautiful at your sink, I mean, put your toothbrush in it if you want. <laughs> There's <laughs> lots of ways that you could use this guy. And I actually, in my home, I am using him this way next to my coffee maker because I love the spoons so much to display them, but also to put them on my tray. So several ways to use something like this. And we are moving on. And again, it comes, everything comes with a tag or at least half the items. Use me as a vase, candle holder, or even on your desk to hold your pencils and pens. And that is that item. Another way to use the tray, if you have a catch-all at the front door, your mail, your keys, you can use it that way. Super simple, super functional. I don't do beauty without function. That's really important to me. So everything I love that. Yeah, it's functional. I just think like, why would we invest in something, you know, if we can't actually use it? So that's that. And here's another way to think outside the box with your mango tray. You can see that I have the mango tray, but then I just used this for sugar and tea and creamer. So maybe you're not a coffee lover, but you love tea. How special is this for yourself or for your guests coming over? And again, you could display your spoons. You can pour your creamer. Yes. I actually tested this. I'm not going to do that right now, but it actually pours. Because <laughs> I was like, I don't know if it'll work without like the little spout. <laughs> it works. So again, this is another fun, functional way to think outside the box, repurpose your items, right? How you were saying like, which way do we use it? Well, I mean, we can use it all different ways. So mm -hmm. fun. And there's a lot of people that need that visual. Yes, and I and I understand that, right? So for me, it's a natural gift that God has given me. Like these, all these ideas are, have come natural to me. But that's something I want to give back to you, even through your subscription. I loved it this morning. Someone in our Facebook group, I'm telling these women, I'm like, please pick my brain as a designer. Like 
you have that access to me. It's kind of like a designer in your pocket, right? Um, through the subscription and someone this morning put a picture on our Facebook group and said, help me. What do I do with this mess in my kitchen? <laughs> All these cords and stuff. And I was so happy that someone actually like, that's why too, it's like so much more than a subscription because you're getting me to be able to answer questions. Somebody, sorry, I just like totally didn't finish my thought. Um, this morning with that, I was able to send her multiple things from Amazon. I was like, this will work, this will work, this will work. So I hopefully solved the problem that she was having of organization in her kitchen. And I was so excited about that. And someone else was like, what are some paint colors you recommend? You know, just things like that, that I'm happy to give back to you guys, even within that Facebook group. And also truly the women are amazing and they're inspiring each other and showing these beautiful pictures. Someone took their spoons and it was like taco Tuesday, you know, with the sour <laughs> so um, somebody else that reminds me made a candle in this. So I love that she was creative herself and filled this and made her own candle out of the vase. Wow. That yeah. is so fun. And I'm learning from them just as much as I hope that they'll learn from me and be inspired. And let's see, we have another two more items to show you. So picture frames, right? This is a common thing, a picture frame, but I chose these because I thought they were beautiful and I have never seen anything like this in the store. It's again, the mango wood and there's copper and silver. So there's two different style frames. There's one with the gold and one with this. You actually only get one in your box. You don't get two and whatever one you get, you get. <laughs> so. This one I actually chose to put next to my coffee maker because again, like that's the first place I go in the morning. I cannot really function without it. Mm -hmm. I guess I could, but I choose not to. Um, I love my coffee. And just to remind myself, especially where I'm at right now, it says an abundant life is, sur is a surrendered life. Holy. And oh, I love that. Yeah. And that's a hard place to be, right? To truly be in a band and like, okay, God, I trust you with all of this. And the subscription was a huge risk for me. I mean, everything I have is in this, but right. yeah. Philippians 1, 6 says, and I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Christ Jesus. And I believe that. So I have this constant reminder. So I chose not to put a picture in mind. Um, I chose to put something inspiring to just remind me of the truth every day and it actually sits over here behind that stuff but another really fun way you can use this is to make it into a little menu board i will be honest that is super creative thank you scott is the cook at our house um his, <laughs> his menu is not tacos or curry chicken or pasta or eating out or breakfast, but that would be my menu. <laughs> Super simple. <laughs> um, and again, I just used a chalk marker and I just put a solid piece of paper, you know, just again, trying to think outside the box of a picture frame, but I, I still think it's beautiful. And if you have a favorite picture or a favorite quote, somebody else, I love this idea. They put um, a handwritten note from their husband in here. I just thought that was super sweet. So, and put it in her bedroom. That That's is. Another all the items, Melissa, you can use them throughout your home. Honestly, the only thing I feel like is truly, you know, an item that you can really only use in the kitchen would be your spoons. And I guess your hors d'oeuvres, although I, again, I use mine in my bedroom because I use it in my book. So, <laughs> right. Anyway. And that's with every bundle that I'm creating. You can do a little Facebook, uh, Facebook group challenge on what else you could do with the spoons. <laughs> yes, I love that. Thank you for that great idea. <laughs> And I'll get back to you. <laughs> so much fun. Um, so the last piece is what I believe makes the box really special. And that is a handmade piece by me. Um, once a year, something you are going to get is something handmade. I'm already thinking through the fall and reaching out to a local artist. I love inspiring other people. I love encouraging other people. I think it's so important for us as women, just like you reach out to me, I'm just so grateful. And I think it's beautiful when women can encourage other women, like too often it's ugly. And I, I anyway, so I just thank you for that. And that's who I am to my core. And that's what I want to do. You're so welcome. This handmade will be in my box. So I'm looking to the fall and um, hopefully reaching out to someone local that can be a part of the, the box with me, which will also help their business grow, hopefully. And I mean, truly, it's all word of mouth, mm -hmm. right? It's how we all grow. And I'm thankful for that. So this Absolutely. handmade, 
is um, an old piece of tin. They're all one of a kind. So that's what also makes it super fun is that truly no one's wall art is the same. So this little old tin ceiling tile became a piece of art in my opinion. And you can set it on your counter like this. If someone loves to cook, I think it's a, a beautiful way to put fresh herbs in here. So again, beauty function. You can hang it up because this is all fake, Melissa. None of this is real, but it will look this good all the time. So for those people who don't have a right. paint dump, don't want to put herbs in it or first flowers, well, you receive it like this, all wrapped up pretty. And it tells you that it was handmade with love by me. So again, if someone's like, oh, my friends, well, you can gift it to them then. So that's one way you can use it. You can hang it on your wall. You could set it on your counter just like that. I have one. I will have one. I actually don't. I'm in the process of finishing my kitchen right now, but I made one for myself to hang in my kitchen just all by itself. But it looks great above a toilet to make a bathroom special, like, you know, just having something unique or putting it in a wall gallery. I have a huge wall gallery in my living room and I just love texture. I think it's a huge part of design. And so that's why I made this. But I wanted to show you too. Here's another one. Again, they're all different and unique and you can simply take the vase off and they all look different. But fresh flowers, I think every woman should have that on your grocery list and love yourself. And <laughs> there's lots of ways with your subscription box that you can love yourself with fresh flowers. So here's another way to display it. And there is one Amazing. last item. I have a little bit of an addiction as a designer with pillows. I love pillows. <laughs> that it's a really great way to impact a space without spending a lot of money and so this is the pillow that you get in your first edition bundle super cozy everything is really wow. gonna go with any home um, i love the tassels on it and again texture lots of texture so every bundle that people receive you will have something metal something glass something wood and something fabric wow uh, that's Those amazing. Are, thank you. I think they're all elements of design that are really important. And so this is your fabric item. The one for the spring is so fun. I love it, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so it has the wood and actually the wood in the spring bundle um, for this subscription. That one I'm going to do a do it yourself project on the, my Facebook group with that. And what else? There, there's just so many yummy things. And every box, I feel like I'm like, oh, I like this one better than the first. Um, <laughs> which I should, because with me building it, I want it to always be exciting and beautiful and functional. And again, I'm going to use items from each box to, again, like, so in the spring, when you get your new box, these items are going to feel fresh and different because I'm going to partner them with something else in your other box. Right. And this it's year, exciting. Yeah, it is exciting. Thank you for celebrating with me and just oh, you're welcome. being with this time with you. And it was so fun. So that's absolutely it. yeah. Ordinary is my tagline of my business. That's how the box got its name. I was trying so hard to think of something so clever. And someone on my team, Ellen, was like, why do you have to reinvent the wheel? You know, like, oh, yeah, living beyond ordinary. And that's I believe is so important. We're all extraordinary souls and I want people to know that and believe that. And I've been gifted with design to help you understand that. And I want you to love your home and through the subscription box, like your home deserves that to be inspired and you do too. So go over to my Aww. website, <laughs> first edition bundle <laughs> or subscribe yep. for the next one. There's plenty Absolutely. of Absolutely. Yep, go and get your box before it's gone. Yes, there's only 37 left. 37 first editions, and then I wow. think 80 for the spring bundle. And hopefully it will just continue to grow. Wow. And my goal is to have a waiting list, right? And have to buy more product or create mm -hmm. other boxes. And something that's coming that I can tell you about that I haven't told anyone else is that I'm doing a build your own bundle. So oh. some of items yes so you'll never be able to build a bundle like this first bundle it's this is exclusive right just like the spring bundle but maybe there's some extra trays or there i again there will be a pillow and a build your own bundle but 
anyway, so I just want to put that out there that that's one of my goals to happen next once we continue to launch. And I'm thankful for my fiance who is like, hey, you need to throttle back because I wanted to do like all these different style boxes. And so this is really <laughs> my style in a box. I don't know really how to define it. Yes. But and I think it's funny as entrepreneurs, we do end up wanting to like take on the world at first because I'm the same way. I'll have like a hundred ideas. I'm writing them all down. I'm like, I don't have time for all this, but I'm going to put it on the back burner in case I do. But they just constantly flow when you become creative and start your own business. And <laughs> yeah, I realized I was like, how, why am I like this? And I, my father, he, I watched him my whole life. Like he was always doing something new and I didn't realize it until I was an adult. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I watched this man do this my whole life. And so I think that's part of why it's ingrained in me. And I don't know, I, I wasn't looking for the next thing, right? I love doing interior design. It's my favorite thing. And I, I really do love my job. And so that's not going away, but this is definitely right. and I'm excited about that. And um, yeah. So that's the story. I just uh, like, so like when we talk about entrepreneurship and ideas, something just popped in my head. So I started studying for real estate and um, eventually, hopefully I become a realtor, but I think like these would be great okay. gifts that I could give clients in the future when I become a realtor. <laughs> I love that, Melissa. You're, oh my goodness. I love that you said that because one day I was like, you know, I have a few realtor friends. I'm just going to take the chance and say, hey. I think this would be a great gift. Someone mm -hmm. bought one. It is. Two realtors bought one and they were like, well, I'm going to write this off and keep a few things for myself <laughs> and then gift the others. But one of my friends who is a realtor gifted the entire box and she said her client was, I wish I could, my phone is using the camera right now, but I wish I could <laughs> what this person said and and the realtor bought it just trusting me she had no idea what was in the box and i thought that was yes. amazing. i know that's a big deal it's a lot of money 225 dollars is not i'm not taking that lightly that people are truly trusting me they have no idea what's in it now i mean you have an idea but the spring bundle it's not going to be revealed until after it goes out so i have 15 subscriptions so far of people who are like yes i'm all in i'm trusting you for the next one i can't wait someone asked me to yeah. do it every month I was like, no, we can't do this every month. Um, but I love that and good luck to you. I know you can do it. That's awesome. So, oh, yes. thank you. Um, yeah. Yeah. We'll here. definitely be connecting then, too. <laughs> that's awesome. And that's another way, too. I was thinking about building your own bundle. Maybe you know your client. Obviously, if you know your client and some of the things they, that they may want, everything is home related. So, um, with something like that, you can actually see what you're purchasing. And the build your own bundle will be also a little bit less expensive. Um, so, but again, the cost, the value is so much greater than just the price of the box. And I forget the quote by Benjamin Franklin, but I love, I wish I had memorized it, but it talks about the quality of things. Like you're going to forget about the price if the quality is poor. It doesn't matter if it's cheap and you get poor mm -hmm. quality. You're going to remember that you got something crappy, right? You're not going to get this box right. and think, Oh, I, sh I wish I didn't spend this much money. No, it's not like that. It's like, what? This is way more. And that's what I've been so encouraged by. Like everyone's responses have been truly, you can go read some of the reviews on the website. Some women have already left some reviews for me, which I'm so grateful for. And that's some of their feedback is like, there's more in here. Yay. Like this is way <laughs> more than I thought. Like even the pillow, just the value of that alone is a $45 value if you were to outright buy that. So anyway, it will always be exceed the retail value of your box. I can promise you. Absolutely. That. Well, thank you. That was really entertaining. I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed meeting you more and learning more about you. And I definitely feel we're going to stay in contact and, and uh, be connecting in the future. Thank you so much. I appreciate you too. Oh, yeah. Thank you everyone for spending time with us tonight. Thank you. Thank you.